Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we got the ability to swim. Which took us to have an out-of-body experience in order to swim. Which is going to be a bit of a doozy because swimming is based on the motion controls and... I still haven't figured out too much on how to control the, uh... New motion sensor. It keeps saying that my uh, Wiimote in front of it is not where it is, so. Oh, uh, we'll see. If there's a lot of swimming into walls, that's probably it. Just keep in mind that it, if anything gets screwed up, it's probably because of my uh, inability to figure out what to uh, do with it right now. Because my Wiimote is currently not censored. Centered. And, yeah. Since it's not centered, it's going to be doing a lot of these maneuvers. And also, if my nunchuck acts up, that's another thing as well. It will randomly shake and cause me to fly out of the water. Which is not a good thing. In a sense of irony, because this is one of my favorite swimming mechanics in all of Zelda. Inside the great tree. And we moat. And nunchuck. Concerning me a little bit for when I will play be pl replaying Okami, which I still have not done, simply because I'm quite concerned about how that Let's Play would go if my nunchuck and my Wiimote are both failing me a little bit. So I may have to switch nunchuck. I may have to switch my Wiimote around. Nunchuck is making this really freaking hard. I need to do something here because this is getting really rough. Because the game expects me to do things with the Wiimote that ends up breaking the Nunchuck, which ends up breaking the Wiimote. So as you can see, there's tons of these weird blowing up things that we'd seen before. Now, there's a lot of puzzling to do here, involving these weird things. Specifically, we have to swing ourselves in the direction of platforms we need to go to or jump to. And I screwed up. I keep thinking it's enough, but apparently it's not. There are heart pieces here. I believe there's only one. I could be wrong. But it's somewhere involving doing this back and forth thing. Okay, 
Okay, finally. Now, which way to go? Well, I don't really need to go that way, because it leads to a dead end, so we'll go this way. Got the monster claws. None check. This is not a time. Not the time. Not the time. Thankfully, if I slam on the on a control of the none check, it will stop itself from moving that fast. Otherwise, I would have probably been screwed there. Well, I gotta get rid of you somehow without actually touching you. Almost. Oops. Oops. Sure hope I can do this. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to try to sky skyward strike him. Which seems to be the one I have to do. Can't even kill a flower. That is not the a good way of beating that, I don't think. But it's the only way that doesn't involve falling off. I believe that is a heart piece. No, it's just gold rupee. Well, that's okay, I guess. Wasn't hoping for that, but. All right, well, we can just continue on now. Crap. But I am definitely going to be going through my nunchuck collection and seeing if I've got anything that can work. I'm also going to have to see if I have a... motion enhancer thing. Not where I want you to be, buddy. Uh, 
All right, well, we're out now. And we see that glorious treasure over there. If you jump correctly, you can land on here and get this treasure. Which is really awesome, but now we have to do that all over again. Which kind of sucks. Darn it, I need that oxygen. Oh well. The real sad part about it is, is mainly just the enemies come back. That's about it. Play your cards right though, you can just take them out pretty easily. I don't like that these guys can home in on you. Alright. We're free! Just be careful not to fall off, because if you do, you have to redo all of that all over again, so... Yeah, that's not... it's not great. Man, I love this area so much. I love forest green and all that. Plus you can just like take a gander at all this and it's really pretty. Alright, you guys. First time I believe Skull has actually showed up in this uh, game. And I don't got anything to deal with you. I don't think hook beetles can do anything about you. Oh, they can. I guess it suffices so long as it can knock them off. I would assume that these fruits would have, like, nuts in them, right? Yeah. Good. These Skulltulas can uh, cause some major problems for you. So let's take them off. Check now is not a time. There's a hornet's nest. Gonna knock that down so we can get fast. What would happen if I drop this right here? Yeah. 
We'd get a free hornet larva. And then we can just go in here if my nunchuck would allow me. And see ya, bees. And meet an annoying enemy. These enemies... I wish they were never invented. By Nintendo. And crap. Well, thankfully they kept me up here instead of making me... Nunchuck? You can see. They run from bombs. You go up for wooden shields, though. However, their stomach is impervious. You actually have to hit them in the butt, which is... I don't know why Nintendo's obsessed with this kind of thing, but honestly, I just go past him. Not worth fighting. And honestly, that is a very good spot to constantly farm Hornet Larva if you need it. Which we are going to need it because the bug net needs it in order to get, uh, stronger. We will be doing that, but not right now. I'd like to get some of these fast travel points out of the way before we actually um, go back. That all of them? Yep. Nothing in there except our animal relic. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Is that a monster claw? Friggin' nunchuck again. Master, listen closely. Do you hear that? Hear what? You have reached the top of the tree. In this vantage point, you have a good view of the woods. Perhaps you will see an area you haven't explored. Master, look up there. I have confirmed the discovery of a new key place. And Alice indicates a 90% chance that the sounds we've been hearing have been the loud snores of this key way. Him up. At the goal here. Kick we. Was it? I'm napping. Oh, look at that—a real life human. Haven't seen one of you in a while. You used to call me Yerbal. Now I'm just the old Kick Wee hermit. I watch over this forest when I'm here. 
and not when I'm napping. I don't know why, how you wandered up all the way up here, but let me ask you something. Can you really see me? Sure can. That's so well then, slap yourself on the back. You know, some kikwis can't even see me these days. But forget all that nonsense and tell me, what kind of business does a real-life human have in these woods? The flame! You're out questing for a flame to enhance your sword? You can find someone important to you, eh? How about that? A human who can see me and seeks a great flame. Listen, do you promise not to breathe the word of what I'm about to tell you to another soul? I'm serious. Sure, I guess. Alright, I'll tell you, but remember, it's top secret to everybody. The flame you seek is most likely Ferrari's flame. Yes, Ferrari's flame. This rumor begins very long ago when the goddess was still with us. The goddess gave the flame to the water dragon, a great spirit who resides over Ferran Woods. The way I hear it is she left the flame in the cage of the care of the water dragon so that one day a mighty dragon could pass it on to the one from the sky. You see, I've got a hunch that the goddess was talking about you, lad. Well, that settles that. You must seek out the mighty water dragon. Her lair is deep in a lake south of these woods. She watches over the flame there. There's a problem, though. The gate that leads to the lake is sealed shut to all those judged unworthy. No worries. I'll let you in on a trick to opening the gate. To open the gate, you have to channel the power of the goddess into the symbol carved in its doors. Oh, but it isn't so simple. The symbol is incomplete, so it unlock the gate. You must make the symbol whole. The only way you'll know what the completed symbol should look like is first find that same completed symbol somewhere else in the woods. The gate is down south, so it's likely that the matching symbol is somewhere up north. Try searching near this X. Is all this seeping into your head, lad, or do you know do you know where you must go to find the symbol you seek? Sure. But I wish you safe travels, lad. Oh, wait up! Forget to mention this earlier, but it's important. Her Excellence, the Water Dragon, is very persnickety about manners, so watch yours. Heard stories of folks who cut her in a fussy mood? Ended up as mid-morning snacks. Probably tastes like old cave moss, but I'm not in a hurry to become a royal meal. So don't let her know I told you about Ferrari's flame, okay? I remember when you're getting her, Hall. Better be on your best behavior. Be a gracious guest. I'll be here napping if you need some of my elder wisdom. See you around. So what we can do now is jump. And find out where we need to go. Which is, you know, of course, next to the deep woods. <laughs> Thankfully, we can swim now to get away from those bats. percent probability that this symbol is the one the hermit was describing. I recommend you memorize its shape. Circle. Probably save it. And then we'll get on where we need to go. And then probably in the episode there, because running low on time. Alright, directly south. Here we go. Those enemies will now be patrolling every which way, by the way. Whenever you activate the trials, all the enemies get stronger.
Bats. That and all the Deku Bavas have been replaced with the gold ones. So now they're even harder to defeat. Yeah, right to the left. I'm not quite sure... Master, my calculations indicate there's an 80% probability that sacred flame lies beyond this gate. I've also deduced that the power of the goddess Kikui Hermit is to, in fact, the Skyward Strike. Charge your sword while sandering in front of the gate to use the energy to draw the missing portion of the symbol. Yep. Ro coming this. Is that good enough? No. Yes? Yes. I spent way too long on that puzzle as a young lad when or last when I was playing this. Um for the first time. But that being said, we're actually going to end things off here. In the next episode, we'll actually be going to the water dragon. See you guys then.